The Little Hedgehog Reading Club A Dancer's Tale The Story of Phyllis Spira Once upon a time in Joburg's Orange Grove a little girl called Phyllis was born into the world. Two people in love hugged their sweet little babe. No one knew then what a dancer they'd made. By the time she was four, she had learnt very quick. She was impressed. She impressed all her teachers with her ducky feet flicks. Before school and after, she danced every day. Nothing pleased Phyllis more than ballet. When the world was ready for Phyllis at 15, she arrived in big old London ready to live her dream. She said goodbye to all her friends. She was ready to start fresh. Watch out Royal Ballet School. Phyllis is here to impress. When Phyllis danced Swan Lake, it was fit to show the Queen. After years of pivoting and pirouetting, she was ready to be seen. Dancing for the audience, she turned and twirled about. Look, everybody is smiling. See how they clap and shout? <laughs> from Mexico to Canada, from the USA to France, Phyllis travelled far and wide, so the world could see her dance. With the Royal Ballet Company and her ballet friends, she spread her love for ballet. She never wanted it to end. Phyllis always knew that dance was in her heart, but she longed to return home again and make a fresh start. So she leapt and she bounded, Back to her beautiful land, her ballerina roots were regrown, she was once more South African. Dancing wasn't just for fun as Phyllis always knew. She'd work at dancing day and night and with hard work she grew, always smiling, always trying, through good times and through tough, Phyllis always did her best. She couldn't get enough. Romeo and Juliet, Swan Lake and Giselle. Phyllis danced these for the people, graceful, tireless well. With partners Gary Byrne and Edward Gillen too. Her mag magnificence inspired the audience. To her, flowers they threw. <laughs> Reward comes easy when you put yourself to the test. Phyllis came to realize this. Once she was called the best. She was awarded Prima Ballerina Absoluta. The greatest dancer of them all. Phyllis would be forever known. She wanted nothing more. Goodness, what a catch. Phyllis met her loving partner. His name was Philip Boy. He was another dancer. Together they were married and together they would dance. No one could be better matched given half the chance. Though they had no children, Phyllis and Philip were never sad. The two of them found another way to help other moms and dads. They started Dance for All, a special school for dance, so that children with no money could also learn to prance. She left a legacy of dance and incredible success. Her magic was passed on to others to help them become their best. Her students spread across the world inspired by her ducky little feet. They danced on while we watch, dreaming from their seats. <laughs>